In this video, I will not waste your time. I will share with you exactly how you can create realistic videos with Google View 3. Now, take a look at the video I created using Google View 3, a Hollywood standard movie. <laughs> be back. You'll want to back out slow. I will. the end of this video i'm gonna be sharing with you everything step by step from how i script my videos from how i generate the scenes then how i turn it to high quality videos in google view 3 maintaining consistent characters now make sure to subscribe to the channel turn the bell notification on so you're going to be you never upload any content so if it's your first time here my name is Vine kennedy and i share with you how you can start and scale your online business using ai tools let's get into the tutorial now the first step is head over to chat gpt now once you're on chat gpt we need to have a workflow and guys so let me introduce you to my workflow now the very first thing in my workflow is the video script and in bracket i said then in the video script i don't want any dialogue right you should just write the video script plainly now the second thing i want in my workflow is i want to bring out all the characters in the script so we are going to at least have these consistent characters all right or characters that look alike across different scenes in the movie now the third step in my workflow i said bring out video scenes for each scene right and add dialogue in the scene that you think is necessary and make sure that they have consistent character descriptions in the sense so since in this third step are plenty so what i just meant is i want video prompts to actually bring the movie to life so i'm going to actually just click on enter and of course we're going to start with the video script you can pause the video and you can copy my prompts edit it and even make out something better for your own self so let's click on enter right here right i guess because the chat said perfect i understand your workflow clearly and it actually makes sense for the way you're producing with ai so i'll follow it exactly in this order every time unless you tell me otherwise so maybe as we go on in this video we're going to have to do some adjustments we'll do everything live here together on this video and of course if you're enjoying if not going far make sure to subscribe to the channel turn the bell notification on so you're not going to miss out on any video we upload right here so if you want to create a good movie you need to have a workflow let's push it back i'm going to scroll down right here guys and you can see chat gpt answers some questions for clarification so in case you come across this you need to answer this question and of course it said what kind of movie do i want i'm, I'm gonna say um modern african uh, modern america sorry modern america click on enter so of course you should know what is going to work on right so right here guys can see that it's actually writing the movie for us full movie script this is it right here you can see that act one the setup right you can also see act two conflict um act three escalation this is just uh, telling you what the movie is all about so if you can actually read it you see what the whole movie is all about if it's not interesting you can also um adjust it or make it to your standard basically now guys after that's written this movie script for us the next thing for us to do is tell it to bring out all the characters from the movie scripts so we have to actually tell it i want you to bring out all the characters right let me spell this rightly characters from the movie script so i'm going to click on enter and of course we wait for charge bits to bring out all the characters from this part movie script so you can see guys the characters are here um we have with a call as the first character marcus hill as the second character this person is said unknown refer to the contact and also guys director edwin ross at last night so you can just check it out guys they are up to let's see 10 characters right here in this script right in this movie 10 characters and of course this is very important because now we are able to identify our characters we can now bring in 
our movie to life. No, but I'm going to be sharing with you how you can use Google Flow to bring in a very good movie to life. And this tutorial, I'm sure you might have not seen it on YouTube, so of course, pay attention closely. So now, right you guys can see, the next step for us to do is to proceed to step 3 and of course, bring out video scenes with dialogue, right? So you can see, and I'll break every scene into production-ready video prompts, adding only necessary dialogue while reusing this exact character descriptions across all the scenes. So I'm going to say, proceed to step 3 and make sure the videos don't contain unnecessary sound effects because um, most times in some clips right once you generate these videos they contain some unnecessary sound effects so make sure it doesn't have any unnecessary sound effects and if you should have any sound effects it should be necessary so right you guys can see step three the video scenes with dialogue you can check it out the video scenes with dialogue right here they're not detailed this is very normal if you're creating AI movies you're going to run into problems but the ability for you to fix that problems that's going to give you a very quality movie so right here guys i'm going to just copy the same one right then i'll paste it on here now as i paste it i'm going to tell charge to this i want you to make scene one very detailed that Google View 3 would understand. Make sure there are character descriptions in the front and everything is well detailed with a full stop, right? So I'm just going to click on this because we want the character description to be there in the prompt. So Google View 3 is going to generate exactly the character we are looking to get. So let me click on it and of course wait for ChatGPT to do his job right here. So you can see that um, this is the same one right here. You can see how detailed it is. So check it out guys. Camera direction, lightning, audio. So you guys you can see that I love this being detailed like this. So we want to do this for every scene. Just make sure that every scene is also detailed like this. So um, first of all, now we've gotten our video scene, which is scene one. All we have to do right now is to head over to Google Flow. We are going to get access to Google VO3 to bring this our movies to life. And so far, so good. Like I said, if you're enjoying this video, you want to subscribe to the channel, turn the bell notification on so you're not going to miss out on any content. So right, you guys can see that this is flow. You can see we had the next wave of storytelling happens with VO, one of my favorite video generators so, so far. So I want to click on create with flow. Now to click on create with flow right here, guys, you're going to see new projects. Click on this new project right here. Now, guys, once you come over to this new project right here, you're going to see um, flow, also the dates and the time you're creating this, and scene builder. So you want to come over to this scene builder because we're creating a movie. We want our scenes to align with each other. So please, let's make use of scene builder. Now, right here, you can see text to video. We just have to paste in this text to video right here. Are you guys in the point? So let's do that immediately. So correctly, guys, I'm back to ChatGPT. Now, copy the same one. And I'm going to go over to Google Flow and of course paste in the front and wait for the results. So right here guys, I'm going to click on paste and just click on enter. And of course, just be patient till it generates the same one. Now, while it's generating the same one, let's go and work on the same two. Make it more detailed so it can be continuous, right? So let's just proceed. So I'm going to scroll up right here guys and I'm going to come over to um, scene two. Right now, I'm going to copy scene two right here. Now, as I copy scene two, all I have to do is to paste it. And right here, guys, I'm going to go down. Now, after I've pasted this scene two, I'm going to say, make it more detailed like you did for scene one. And make sure it transitions smoothly because I'm using scene build on Google View 3. I want everything to align with full stop. I'm going to click on enter. And of course, it's going to give me a more detailed prompt right here. You can see this is the more detailed prompt. Everything looks really good. So, we are going to do the same for scene three. Scene 4, scene 5, and scene 6, down to the last scene where we are done with creating the video. It's going to take credits, you know, who we will choose. So just make sure to be aware. Right, so I'm going to copy this um, scene 2, right? Copy this, head back to Google View 3. Now, let's actually check it out. This is the first scene. Let's, let's, play. let's click on play right here. So you can come over here, click on play.
So guys, check it out. <laughs> this was created AI. I mean, you can see how quality this is. So I'm going to click on plus right here. And guys, you can see, I'm going to click on jump to the next set. All right, so you can see this happens and then jump to the next set. So now we want to jump to the next set. You can see how detailed and how nice this is. <laughs> Amazing. You want to subscribe to this channel because you're going to be getting more quality content like this. So this is for um, scene two, right? So you just have to click on it. And of course, you can see from this scene one, it's going to transition to scene two. Now we're going to click on plus again and we're going to say jump to the next scene. That means from this scene, it's going to happen in scene three. All right, so you just have to use scene builder to create the most quality type of videos you find yourself. So currently, guys, I'm back to ChatGPT. I'll scroll up to um scene three. Now, once I'm in scene three, right here, I'm gonna copy it, and of course, I'll just paste it on the chat, right on the prompt box, and scroll down and say, I want you to make this also more detailed like you did for scene one and two and make sure it's transition smoothly because i am using google view tree scene builder and i want everything to align amazing amazing i'm gonna click on full stop and click on enter and of course you just have to do that for some trick now guys since it's done with generating let's just watch everything together let me click on play so check it out so guys are you seeing how we transition this is a real time American Hollywood standard movie right here that you see. So let's actually go the same thing for same trick. So this scene builder is actually one of the secrets that people don't talk about, and I'm sharing this with you 100 percent for free. So guys, this is same tree. What I have to do right now is to copy same tree right here. Same thing. So just copy this. Also, camera direction, lightning, audio, right? Mood to the mood. Copy this. And of course, head back to Google View 3, right? We're going to paste this right here. And of course, it's going to generate the next scene. Click on plus and click on jump to the next scene. Right? So you can see how smooth everything is. So let's, let's keep on. We'll do the same thing for scene 4. We just have to scroll up to scene 4. Right? This is scene 4. Right? We're going to copy this from scene 4. So, um... Let's paste in this right here. Um, you can see that um, if I check the trunk compartment, this is his family photo stone the way now. I'm gonna say in scene four, I want like a very tiny dialogue, so it's gonna be interesting, right? I'll say scene four. Um, I want a tiny dialogue in scene four, and make sure it is detailed, like scene. One, comma two and three because I am using Google View Tree Scene Builder. I want everything to align. I know this is not the best of pointing, but why am I always telling me that I'm using Google View Tree Scene Builder so everything is gonna align very well? So I'm gonna click on enter and of course it's gonna be same for same. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna just copy this right here, so you can see mood edition, emotion. Sorry, copy C4, and of course head back to Google Flow. Now let's just play everything from the beginning again and see what happens. Okay, so check it out guys right here you can see there's a bit of a mistake which is why we're going to begin post production here it's still on the bed so we can see just cut this place out a little bit and just show this coffee 
perfect. This is why you need your um, this thing for. Right? So see, check it out. Are you seeing how it's still looking nice? So guys, let's just do the same for all the sins. So right here guys, actually let's take a look at this video that we created together. Basically, you can see that minus 1 minute, 8 seconds, I can go on and on. But this is an example just to show you that this works. Now after we're done creating every scene of this video, all we have to do is to click on download. So if I go to ChatGPT right here guys, you can see that I generated only 10 cents. Right, if you scroll up, you can see I have up to 24 cents. So, more sense and longer videos right so this is just an example i'm going to download this right here and guys i head over to CapCut and i'm going to do post-production now what post-production simply means is cutting the unnecessary part of the video adjusting some parts i don't really need to add any sound effects because sound effects has already been added in the video so i just need to cut out some parts that are unnecessary and of course put everything together and guys let's take a look at the final outlook <sighs> Be back. <sighs> You'll want to back out slow. I will. Now I'm wonderful to family if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to go down and subscribe to the channel. Turn the bell notification on to be notified whenever I post amazing videos like this. So you can be one of the first persons to watch. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section. And of course, I'll be reading your comments and answering you. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.